Thursday the 10th of November and welcome to From the South. Mexico's President Enrique Peña Nieto reached out to US President-elect Donald Trump on Wednesday. He agreed to meet with a Republican billionaire whose anti-immigrant rhetoric has infuriated Mexico. Peña Nieto said that he congratulated Trump for his election victory over Democrat Hillary Clinton during a cordial, friendly and respectful phone conversation. A government official who spoke on condition of anonymity said the two men did not talk about Trump's pledge to force Mexico to pay billions of dollars for a giant border wall, but Foreign Minister Claudia Ruiz Macio reiterated earlier to the Televisa network that paying for a wall is not part of the country's vision. Many Cubans are concerned about a possible reverse of the normalization of US-Cuba relations after Donald Trump was elected the next president of the US. Residents in the Cuban capital Havana said that Trump's election will affect the recently assumed US-Cuba ties to a considerable extent, as last year Trump threatened to break off diplomatic relations with Cuba due to Obama's deal with Cuban leaders. Protesters in Rio de Janeiro on Wednesday were met with tear gas as they demonstrated against austerity measures being spearheaded by the government. At least one protester was arrested. Demonstrators held signs with one message reading, Neglect of health is a crime. Among the sectors participating in the Wednesday protests in Rio were those from the education, health and justice sectors. The protesters aimed to storm the Rio State Legislative Assembly. After the confrontation, President Jorge Picani, a member of centre-right President Michel Temer's PMDB party, said that discussions over the austerity would continue regardless of the violence. Barack Obama and his successor Donald Trump held a 90-minute transition meeting in the Oval Office earlier today. President-elect Trump said he looked forward to receiving President Obama's counsel. Obama said they spoke about foreign and domestic policy, as well as the upcoming transition of power. Protests broke out across the US against Donald Trump's election as the country's next president. The protests were held in New York, California and Chicago. Many demonstrators expressed shock over Donald Trump's election victory, vowing to oppose his divisive views. Trump's victory has caused concerns over the country possibly pulling out from the Paris Agreement. However, many COP22 participants believe that the Paris Agreement is a legally binding accord under the UN's Framework Convention on Climate Change, and all parties signed to the accord will enforce the agreement. The anniversary of the November 13th anniversary of the Paris attack that killed 130 people and injured hundreds are days away. Victims of the attack said French authorities must provide greater aid and review the way it responds to such emergencies. Germany's Grand Coalition has agreed bolstering video surveillance in public areas. They also agreed to ban the full veil in public areas where passport regulations apply and in areas that are controlled by the government. The implementation date of the new rules is still unclear, as they have still to pass through Parliament. Anxious Indians rushed to the Manx across the country to deposit defunct currency notes and collect new ones. The bank authorities are urging the public not to panic as the government had set the deadline up to December 30th for people to deposit the defunct notes in their bank accounts. A former president of Venezuela's soccer federation pleaded guilty on US charges stemming from a wide-ranging bribery investigation involving FIFA, the sports world's governing body. He faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison for each count. His sentencing hearing will be set up at a later date. More on these and other stories on our website telesortv.net slash English.